Hi guys, in this video I want to show you both how to make a PDF file from your Excel worksheet as well as a good program that does this for you for free. Okay, so first to get the program. The program is called PDFill and I've actually opened up a tab in my browser that shows you where you can download this app. Okay, I've been using it for a few years. It's given me zero problems and lots of great PDF files. And it's a great alternative to Adobe's very expensive uh, Acrobat Pro. Okay, so this is when you wanna create PDFs, not just look at them and read them, okay? So you can go ahead to this site, pdfill.com and forward slash freewriter.html to download the free PDF writer. It's got a bunch of other tools, some of which maybe you wouldn't you'll you will use, some of which maybe you won't use. And it also wants you to download this uh, this other application called Ghost Writer. Um, I'll I can assure you that I've done this and I've had zero problems on my computer for a few years now and uh, it's been nothing but good to me. So, if you want to uh, create PDF files for free, this is a great app to do it, okay? So, I can vouch for it. So, now let's go ahead, and once you've installed it, this is how to use it. So, let's say we're in Excel. You can also do this in any other program, okay? So, if you have a Word document, a resume, that's very useful. You want to send a resume to somebody. You want to uh, send it as an Acrobat file, if it's a PDF file then it's better to, to save it as a PDF than as a uh, Microsoft Word document. And with anything else you can imagine, you can create a PDF file out of it, of course. Okay, so let's say I want to send this to one of my buddies as a PDF file. Well, first things first, we have to set up the print preview so that this thing looks good. because. Uh, what PDF does, it's kind of like printing, except you're not physically printing anything. You're printing it to a PDF file. Okay, so you have to set up the print, how it's going to look, as if you were printing. So here I see it doesn't look so great. So I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, do some things like center it um, horizontally and vertically. Um, doesn't look so good. Let me see if I could pull this margin in a little. Uh, I didn't like that. Um, let's see, page setup. And we'll fit to one page. Okay, I will deal with this. Okay, this is really not the point. So I can close the print preview. I can go to this uh, the, uh, the the file print and this is where we're going to learn how to create a PDF file. We go to print as if we were printing and instead of choosing our printer PD fill will show up as one of our printers. Okay? PD fill, PD fill, PDF and image writer. That's the, it will show up as one of the printers. So make sure to choose that and hit okay. And then what will happen is it'll take a little, it'll take a brief second, and you'll get this. Uh, the PD fill program will open up. You, you click Create PDF, which is over here, and here it'll ask you to name your file. So here you're just gonna give whatever you want it to be. So this is a, a mortgage document I'm creating. So it's going to create a mortgage. It's going to create a PDF file named mortgage. And I'm going to just throw it on my desktop. Hit save. And it's creating it. It takes a second. And then when it's done, as a default, it auto it opens up the document so that you can see it. And you know, maybe you need to adjust something, or maybe you just want to verify that it created the file. And here it is. It's created it, it's opened it up in actually an in Adobe Reader and let me just pull it over onto the screen so that you can see it here we go so it pulled it into Adobe Reader which is what 
almost everybody has on their computer. So everybody can read your document. They don't need Excel to be able to open up your document, which is a great advantage. And it looks exactly how I set it up in Print Preview, if you remember. You know, I was trying to center it. I wasn't really successful, but that wasn't the point. It printed the colors properly, and it printed the margins, everything how I set it. And it's just a PDF document, which now I can go ahead and email to anyone and uh, save for myself great for printing and whatever else you might need to do okay so again you go into your document whatever program you're using Excel access Word Photoshop whatever it might be you go to print as if you were printing physically and this time instead of your printer you're gonna choose the PD fill option this is after of course you've installed it right hit OK it's going to prompt you to name your to click create file and then you're going to name your file and then you hit save and you're done so it's really easy and really useful and it's free so I implore you to download that program and use it make sure to watch all my other Excel access PowerPoint and math tutorial videos as well as check out my channel subscribe favorite and like till next time have a great day